just like this. You can see the hands stay in front of my body center. The club stays back here. You know, so many players need to have this look where the hands are right here, at you know, just at the side of their hip, and that club is still parallel to the ground. We see so many golfers right here, and that's when they're losing the club face. This is one of the best golf swings in the world right here. Absolutely one of my favorite golf swings of anybody that I teach, and uh, enjoy. right elbow gets behind that right pocket. Typically what we see is the arm work that way versus when the right elbow is in front of the pocket, the club releases a lot later, gives you a lot more forward shaft lean. Big time X factor to getting forward shaft lean in the swing. The feeling I like you to work on when you're out here, I like you to work that right elbow in front. When you play, I'm all about the back of that left arm. It's such an easy thought. They both accomplish the same thing, but this one's a little bit more of, of the technical work of what needs to really be done, but it's not like this doesn't accomplish that. Yeah. But in competition, that'll stabilize the face and really help you commit to every shot. Okay. It's easier thought to think about the lead side than the trail side. I, nev I never make this a trigger for my swing at all. Always the lead side. Get, get in here. Go back to that chest high position to where you know you're connected and guaranteeing connection and take some rehearsals where you really feel that right elbow working into your belly button more in front of you. See, mm -hmm. most people stick it right on the side of their body, and the way that I like to talk about this is, you know, if I'm skipping a rock, and my arm's on the side of my body and I let it go this way, well, not only do I lose the speed, I lose the club face, right? And for you, you know, if I'm skipping it, I didn't show you the good example, elbow in front, right? Watch, elbow in front, and that gives me the leverage that I need to get more power. Plus in golf, that elbow in front, look at this, stabilizes the club face. For me, personally, what that feels like, it feels like my right elbow doesn't just work into the side of my body like so many do and then it breaks down like that. I feel like mine literally goes to the belly button. You know, and I think this is pretty cool. I think Ben Hogan used to wear these cardigans, right, that had, um, you know, they're like wool. And there'd be like a, you could burn them out right here. And it would just, you could see the wear mark if he, wore, if he, if he used to rock them for more than a day or two. That was a good example there. Yeah, that was just right elbow in front right there and the back of my left arm pulling. I literally feel like I'm pulling. And a little secret, and you've worked out with Cody before too. Cody gets that tension band, throws it up in the, in, in the, in, you know, in the door or whatever and, and just really feeling that back of that left arm. Hop in there, do that drill for me. Just pause, accelerate the right elbow, almost like the right elbow is the first thing to move from the top of your swing. Obviously the hips will be working with it, but the feeling is that the elbow is moving ahead as you constantly rotate. And whenever we say something like elbow moves first, our players always know that, mean, that does not mean slow the body down. ABR, always be rotating. That's always our slogan right there. So she's gonna keep ripping through these, but her elbow is just gonna be in front of it or feeling like it's faster than the body in these next couple swings here. We're gonna see what that does to her club face through impact. And what's cool is too, it's, it's not just the right elbow, it's the lead arm being more dominant in the golf swing. You know, I, I personally feel when I hit a golf ball, a lot of my better players would say the same thing. The left arm for me being a right-handed golfer if I have a chain connected all the way down my left arm, all the way to my pocket, I feel from the top of the swing that as my left pocket goes back, my left arm is pulling through. A great visual there. Let's say there's a wall right here, okay? Mm -hmm. That wall is set up all the way up the left side of my body. My hip bumps up against it. I wanna feel like my left pocket's turning inside that wall right here as there's a nail in the wall and I'm hammering the nail as I go through and the club will get there later. It's almost like I'm fully rotated, then the club hits the golf ball as opposed to before that, okay? Yeah, this is turning, but the arms have to be working with it, you know? And one thing I give my young ladies a hard time about is really getting in the gym and exercising and, you know, building up their shoulder strength. This is the connecting point to the body. So, you know, if these aren't really strong, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a little harder for them to get the arms back in front of them. My least two favorite looks in golf, right here. One, two. I like to see one, two. Arms always in front of the body. For our viewer right here, here's the hammering the nail look. So a lot of times we'll do pump drills with our players just like this. 
You can see the hands stay in front of my body center. The club stays back here. You know, so many players need to have this look where the hands are right here at, you know, just at the side of their hip and that club is still parallel to the ground. We see so many golfers right here and that's when they're losing the club face. Yeah, that was the best one of the day right there. You feel that? Mm-hmm. The more aggressive you get with that left arm, get some speed to it too, okay? I feel like you really get it through there now with some, with some gas. And the great thing is, the same thing that's gonna give you speed, the hips and the handle going through, uh -huh. the same thing that's gonna give you speed is gonna stabilize that club face. And I actually believe that because the hands are faster, the club lags more. Lag, club lagging behind. There you go. That's the sound we want, that's the ball flight we want. I really have to pull at it, I feel like. Like more, or like, more here, pull, right? Yeah, and then yeah. like I have to push the shoulder like a lot, I feel like. That lead arm, the back of that arm, the ability to boom. See how it releases out there and that face is much more stable. These thoughts I'm giving her of a more dominant left arm, these are thoughts that help a lot of people, not just Ashley. I mean, they really, really help our players a lot with stabilizing the club face, getting a better angle of attack. You can see that this look here, it's just not possible to have that with the right arm hanging out on the side of the body. I call it widen on the side. It just looks like you're skipping the rock like this. You would never even skip the rock with the arm being at the same pace as your body. It's not gonna be fast, right? The hands always have to have speed isolated of the body. And uh, believe it or not, that hand speed keeps the hands in front of the center of the body and actually connected. Because of the greater distance, the hands have to travel around the track to get to that finish line than the body. And when I refer to the body, I'm talking dead center, belt buckle, sternum. For our viewers, we've had the privilege of um, teaching Larry David. And Larry, this move right here has been the game changer for Larry. Larry gets in there and you know, now his new routine is he does a couple of these before he pulls the trigger. Just becoming left arm dominant for him has completely changed his game. It 100% it, it has been excluding the activity of his right arm in the golf swing. Better angle of attack, better connection, more commitment through impact, all that, so it's good. And this is not a feeling of slowing down or backing off like so many people get when they're working on their downswing. No, this is speeding up, getting after it, but in a technically solid way that keeps the golf swing connected. Beautiful, Ashley. That was absolutely gorgeous. Well, you guys, I'm, I hope you enjoyed this. This is uh, one of my longtime students. I love her. I'm so excited that she gets an opportunity to go play for Oregon. I know, she, I know she's really happy about it. So uh, we wish her all the best. And you know, we'll be making sure to just follow along. You know, we'll, 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 keep, we'll keep you updated on her progress. So anyways, thanks, Ashley. Thank you. <laughs> you did a great today. Thank you. Thanks, Kev. Thank you. That was fun. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Oh, it's